In this video, I'm going to talk about this fellow. This fellow is my bass trombone. Uh, it is a Jupiter JSL 740R. Uh, what can I tell you about this? Well, it has two uh, standard rotary valves here. It has uh, an open wrap configuration. Um, the F trigger is located on the back side of the instrument, while the G flat trigger is uh, located on the front. It is ingeniously wound uh, so that you don't have the F side extending far beyond the uh, limits of the instrument. This particular model has a uh, rose brass colored bell, which you may or may not be able to uh, detect in this video. It has a 10 inch bell. Um, I'm a fan of the 10 inch bells personally. Uh, the alternative with bass trombones is either nine and a half or 10 and a half. Um, I've really enjoyed the experience of the 10 inch uh, bell. It works for me. This trombone also comes with one of these sort of hand rest grip things. Um, it slots in this little bracket here. And can be tightened by adjusting two little hex nuts on the side. And I think it sits something, I think that's where it's supposed to be positioned. Um, and so that you can draw weight uh, on your hand in a manner thus. Um, it never really worked for me though because of my preferred grip has this finger uh, on this uh, on the top of this brace here so it's never really worked for me but if you were to hold your trombone in this manner then perhaps it might make playing easier. This instrument cost me I think $390 New Zealand dollars. Uh, when I got it it was broken um, one of these tubes here was not soldered on so it wouldn't fit onto your instrument, it wouldn't fit onto the slide section uh, and it just generally needed a, a repair. The slide was impeccable, um, unfortunately that is no longer the case, I've lent this out to a few people and one of them, I don't know who, um, has damaged the slide so if I don't put some sort of grease or lubricant on this after every 20 or so minutes then it just sort of starts seizing up. Unfortunately the valves on this trombone have started to degrade quite a lot. The screws that hold uh, these plates on, now these plates uh, are the, contain the stays that limit how far these uh, rotors can turn. The, the screws that hold them in place have been ejected of their own volition whilst uh, playing and unfortunately out of the four screws that are, appear, that are supposed to be present across the two valves uh, only one original one maintains. This plate is held on by liquid nails and duct tape. This plate is held on by one original nail, uh, one original screw, and one random screw that I found out in my collection of screws. So it's not an ideal situation. Also the rubbers have degraded quite a lot where the second trigger is almost more noisy than the sound that gets projected out of the bell. So that hopefully explains the foibles of this particular example. But what do I think about this trombone? Well, the retail price is about three grand, uh, which is uh, a reasonable price for a bass trombone. And for that price, I think this is actually not, not too bad. Jupiter is not uh, a prestige brand, but it's not a, it's not a bottom of the heap brand either. Um, if you were an intermediate trombonist who is in the market for a trombone, I'd recommend something like this. Um, you can pick it up reasonably uh, cost effectively at a second hand basis, uh, such as what I've done. It may require a little bit of money to be spent on it, but it's a reasonably robust trombone. Um, and I don't have really any problems with the quality of the instrument, it's just this instrument has suffered in previous lives, um, and unfortunately that's a bit of a shame. The only downside that I think is inherent with this model is that these uh, surrounds to the valve caps are really quite sharp and I've actually got some uh, scars on my neck here um, from, the, from the valves you know, rubbing up against it. So don't be a fat trombonist if you're going to play one of these instruments. What I'm going to do to finish off uh, this video is just play a little extract out of a piece that I've been working on for a little bit now, just sort of after work uh, in that sort of fashion. It's called Variations on Barnacle Bill the Sailor. 
This particular arrangement, it says, by Carson Robinson and Frank Luther, freely adapted and composed by Stephen Frank, and it was written for Scott Van Manen. I hope that you'll forgive me if I have mispronounced any of that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 